You're listening to WJHS 91.5 The Eagle. Welcome to Media in the Making, a podcast where we look at the evolution of media from 1600 all the way to present day 2022. In this podcast series, we ask, how have different forms of media evolved and changed culture? Media in the Making, where media and culture are always changing. Now, let's take a step back in time. Hello, this is Ian. And I'm Brayden. And today we're going to talk about one of the bigger impacts on media and culture in 1990 through 2001 and onwards. Something that impacted the culture and media was the Nokia 1011. This phone changed the way most people communicated and paved the way for future mobile phones. Nowadays, the average American is on their phone for around five hours and check it 98 times a day. That's once every 10 minutes. For instance, this week alone, I've been on my phone five hours and 41 minutes on average per day. For my daily average of screen time, I have two hours and 43 minutes on average per day. And I average 81 daily pickups. And on my side, I average 107 daily pickups. Now, how did we get to this point where almost a majority or a large chunk of our days are spent on our phones? Well, Addictive apps and games can be attributed to this, but let's take a look back. Before the 2000s and before the first iPhone, companies like Motorola and Nokia ran the phone market. The Nokia 1011 paved the way for future phones to come and left lots of improvements for newer phones. This phone was made in 1992 and it mostly impacted the UK because it was manufactured there. The phone had an hour and a half of talk time, which is a far cry from today's phones and their battery lives. Almost everyone in the 90s was rocking a Nokia, which is how they produced slash sold hundreds of thousands of phones. This wasn't the first Nokia product or phone, rather the success of the 1011 impacted Nokia's plans to make newer, better phones. The newer phones have a significant increase in every aspect of a phone compared to the 1011. The prices are one thing to look at. When the 1011 first came out, it was worth around $1,400 which is a ton of money back then, and even now. Currently, companies like Apple have decreased the prices dramatically, so more people will buy their products. And the more people that have the same products spreads trends. Everyone wants to follow those trends, especially in today's time. When everyone has the exact same product, or a remotely same product, then anyone can communicate with anyone. I could randomly build a relationship with someone I've never met before just over a screen. So when everyone in Europe started buying this new mobile phone, which was the 1011, they were all following this trend that was going around. A big role in that trend setting is the famous people or the role models. When your role model does something or gets something, you want to be like them, so you follow them. As we are nearing the end of the podcast, we can now see how the Nokia 1011 impacted the world and changed the way we communicated slash moved forward with the production of newer and better phones. While the Nokia 1011 wasn't the first phone ever created, it was the first to really take off and impact on a national and global scale. People were communicating and using it, so the phone's existence was advertising for itself, making the market for the phone bigger. And that's how the Nokia impacted the world. Media in the Making is brought to you by WJHS 91.5 and the Eagle Tech Academy Mass Media Classes. Media in the Making teaching you about the evolution of media throughout history and its effects on culture. For more from the students, this podcast series is on the 91.5 website, wjhs91.5.org. Thank you for joining us.